Hi up people, vlog time. I've come out to do a few hours spinning um, in Mansfield. I'm on a place called Kings Mill Reservoir. Well Kings Mill Reservoir is to the right, which is over here. And through that gate, which I'll show you in a bit at the minute. At the minute I'm up on the bridge. Um, which is above what they call Dead Man's Pool. So I'll just give you a quick look. It starts from all the way down here and it runs right the way up the top. So I'm going to get myself down here and start doing some spinning all the way along here and just to see what happens. This is a uh, Nobody really properly knows what's in here. It's got pike, perch, roach, some carp in there. But the fish what's in here have been in here years. They call it Dead Man's Pool because somebody was found dead in here a long time ago, years and years ago. But it lights the backwater off of the reservoir. So whatever fish are down here, they're in here all the time and breed down here. So I haven't been here for a while, so we'll give it a bash. Right, I'll get myself back down there and start doing some fishing, catching a bit people. Right people, I've made my way down here, as you can see. I mean down this end it does go a bit further back but it goes really shallow down here and it's really snaggy. It's really snaggy anyway, as you can see. It is. There's that many floats and stuff in the water while people's lost fishing. Everywhere, look. Because it's that snaggy. But there is this carp and bream and perch and all sorts in here, but it's, uh, it's a funny place, really. Like I say, it's like the backwater where all the water comes out of the back of the reservoir. So there's no way for the fish to make it back up into the reservoir. So whatever's down here, is stuck down here. Now as soon as I walk down here, I've seen a shoal. A shoal of bream. Now at the minute, I don't know if you can see up there, but there's baby crows. There is loads of them up here. There's one there, look, one there. They're all in these trees, right the way up here as well. And they're crapping in the water. And where they're crapping in the water, I guarantee you, there'll be fish feeding on that. I guarantee you. But as soon as I walked down here, came to this section here, and I cut this fish out there now, look. I don't know if you can see people just out there, look. I don't know if the camera's picking them up. Moving. To me, they look like... I think they're small carp. They're either small carp or the bream, I can't really make them out, but there's fizzing everywhere. There's some that's big down there, look. You can see the fizzing. And there's a massive shadow underneath. I think that's probably a carp as well. But they do get caught from down here. It's surprising, there's quite a lot of fish in here to say it's a little backwater. Here we go, look, can you see them now? There's two or three of them down there. I don't think the camera's picking it up. You might just be able to make them out moving. I think they're... Uh, there we go. There's another one just here. I think the bream, actually. I think the bream, by the looks of it. There's loads of them. Tons of them. They're all out here, look. Big shoal of them. It's all bream, skimmer bream. By the looks of it. There's another one swimming past. Really tons of them. Absolutely tons of them. But I'm going to make a start. I'm going to work my way up here. And I'm going to fish up here first and work my way down. But I'll film some of it. It's the first time I've done a video for a bit. I did go carp fishing last week, I went fishing for, from the Sunday till the Friday. 
I didn't have any carp, but while I was there I did some waggler fishing and some feeder fishing. I had some nice skimmers of about two pound and I had about five or six tench as well. And I got it all on film with some brilliant footage. Come to edit it at home and uh, I've deleted it off my camera by mistake. So that's why I haven't put it up. I can get it back up at a later stage when I do it on the laptop and retrieve it from the card but normally I do my stuff straight from the camera to my phone and edit it with something like Power Director or whatever that you get for free and then I put it straight out onto YouTube until I can afford a better laptop that I could do proper editing on but anyway I'm going to walk up there get my landing net up and make a start and just see if I can winkle a couple of fish out from this backwater before I ever go on the main water so I'll catch you in a bit people to the camera. I don't know if this is going to pick me up properly or not. I think it will do. Right people, hope the camera's picking me up. All I've done is put a little lip school lure on. It's just got like a little lip school at the end there. And it has like a pin. And you push the pin through the lip school and into the soft lure. And it's just got one treble underneath. And that's tied to my usual trace. I think that's a 40 pan trace done with draining wire where I've got the Fox quick link size 8 swivel and then my egg snap at the other end um, I'm just going to get it 5 so many so many casts here and then I'm going to move down because I've already cast in once and I've already lost a lot it was snaggy last time when I come down here, it's even worse now. And that's one of the reasons why I've put this lip skull lore on. 
because at least I could keep this at the top of the water and control it a bit better. I thought I was alright with the other one because I had a swell uh, sinking one on before but I can't believe it. I can actually see it in the water out right there. It's a die how low that was, £14 down the drain but hey oh.
Well, I'm not picking anything up. I've had a few casts, but I'm going to have to change the mono on this. I've got £15 mono on and it's not sat right. I'm gonna, when I get back, put me uh, £50 braid on, back on. Um, it's causing me a few problems when I'm casting. So, I have a couple more casts here and then I'm going to move a bit further down. That's another lure just gone. I'm gonna have to move from down here. It's just too snaggy to fish down here now. Okay, so I'm gonna move and try up on the rest. Right, change of plan people, I'm back in the car because I've lost like I say I've lost another law, that's two laws I've lost down there. I just can't believe how snaggy it's got down there. There's that much crap in the water. So I've moved and I was going to go on the main reservoir, which is over there. But it looks like the same problem on the reservoir. There's that much rubbish and stuff in the water. I've never seen it so bad. Um, but I was down there fishing, just like I said, just lost another law. And there's a bloke down there doing photography. I've just been talking to him and he's told me to go on to Sutton Lawn Park. I've been on there before and he's the bailiff on there. And he's just told me that there is quite a big head of pike in there. It's only a small place. There's a bit to fish right down at the bottom end. He says there's a great big ledge. So rather than me prattling about keep getting snagged up and losing laws here, I've jumped in the van and I'm going to get myself down there for an hour. So... Uh, I'll sign off for now people, but that's two laws I've lost. I haven't been on here for about two years, so it just shows you, doesn't it? I'll not be coming back again, it's just too snaggy. It just cost me, what, £14 die hour law and then another £10 bloody savage gear lip law. So, yeah, and I can't afford it at the minute. So I'm going to sign off and get driving people, so I'll catch you in a bit. Right, made it, sort of water park. It's only five more minutes down the road. Just having a bit of a pan round. It's not massive, it's only about an acre, an acre and a half. I've been told by the bailiff that down this edge here there's a ledge. 
So it's a lot deeper down this bottom end here. So that's where I'm going to fish. Or start to fish. And just see how I go. Have an hour or so. Hour and 20 minutes walking around this place. He said there's a lot of jacks in here. It's just been piped up to about, they've had them out up to about 12, 13 pounds. So, they're trying to fish up at the res. It's a bloody nightmare. Just been saying to this bloke, it's that snaggy up there now. There's that much crap in the water. I'll not be going up there again. I've just lost two laws like that. Unbelievable. So, right, I'm going to crack on and get some fishing done. Just put this on the uh, bear with me. Oh, is it gonna work? Is it not? No, my luck today, it won't. It shouldn't do. It. Right, just film that a little bit, see how that goes.
started off people with a really bright law. It's a die hour. It's got rattles in it, it's a slow sinker, loads of movement in the tail. You can do a normal retrieve with it. Or you can let it sink a bit, let it float up a bit. You can do absolutely everything with this one, tweak it. I try and do all sorts of it to be honest with you, it's a good law. Um, but I thought I'd start off with something bright just to see how it goes. I'll just check something on the camera. Yeah.
the camera off folks, it's starting to rain. Not having much luck today at all. I might be better off having to stay another half an hour in here and trying again tomorrow. Because it looks like it's going to chuck it now, but we'll see. Well people, let me just turn this radio down. Oh, that's the radio turn down. Bloody session's cut short. I haven't been able to do hardly any filming because look, it's just chucking it down. Throwing it down with rain again. It is, so I've come back to the van. Um, I tried, I wanted to do more footage, but I just haven't been able to because every time I've got the camera out to put it on the tripod, it started raining again. It has, so uh, a bit of a nightmare, but at least it's got me out for a couple of hours anyway. Even though it's been a bit of a nightmare, I can't believe I've lost them two laws like that. The thing is, if I'd have had my titanium tracers on, my £50 titanium tracers and my £50 braid, then I would have been able to bend the hooks out. But because I've got mono on, I've got £15 mono on and a £40 wide trace on. Yeah, sorry about that, but the camera switched off, charge gun on the camera. Yeah, like I say, so I've had to pack up because it's raining. So, uh, at least I've got out for a couple of hours, but a bit of a nightmare here. Yeah. Lost two laws like that. Um, like I was saying, I only had £40 uh, tracers on with £15 mono. If I'd have had my £50 braid on and £50 titanium tracers, I would have been able to bend the hooks out. So instead of being lazy and not swapping over to my braid and sorting my titanium tracers out, that's what I need to do really. Or otherwise, if we get in that situation again, it's just laws lost and I just cannot afford it at the minute. Money's that tight, but um, it's just absolutely throwing it down, look. It is. It's not going to ease up, so I'm going to... Uh, Met my way back home. I'm sorry it's a crap video, people, but it's just one of them things I saw. I'm still going to put it out anyway, even though it's not very clever, but uh, just lately things just keep going wrong, but hey, oh, they can only get better. So I'll say tight lines for now, people, and happy anglers.